More than 50 journalists and social media followers learned about how a small fleet of highly specialized aircraft support NASA's Earth Science and Environmental Mission at a recent Airborne Science Showcase at NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center at Edwards Air Force Base and its Science Aircraft Operations Facility in nearby Palmdale, California. In addition to being able to see many of the aircraft and instruments used in those campaigns, participants were briefed on a half dozen current or near-term missions and the overall goals of NASA's Earth Science Program. With what we do on the Airborne Science Program really is enmeshed and critical with what we do with our space missions as well. We're NASA, we launch rockets, but primarily from the science uh, uh, directorate at NASA and Earth Science in particular, our main goal is to try to advance our understanding of the science itself. Among the current or near-term missions covered in detail were the Discover AQ air quality mission in progress over California's San Joaquin Valley, the PODEX mission that is evaluating three sophisticated polarimeters for use on a future space satellite, and the Airborne Tropical Tropopause Experiment, a multi-year campaign that's investigating how the chemistry of upper atmosphere regions is changing Earth in a warming climate. Yeah, Natrix is a, a multi-agency, multinational campaign. We've got investigators from NASA, from NOAA, multiple universities, private companies. Data from this will be made public and be, will hopefully be used to improve the climate forecasts. NASA's airborne science aircraft have diverse capabilities ranging from the high-flying ER-2 and the unmanned long-range Global Hawk to more traditional aircraft like the B-200 King Air, a C-20A, a P-3B, and a DC-8 flying laboratory. The aircraft are based at four NASA centers, with six of the unique aircraft based at NASA Dryden's facilities at Edwards and Palmdale.